Good evening, everyone. The National Weather Service already has a winter storm watch in effect for our southern tier of counties. That is going to include Crawford, Effingham, and Jasper counties. Going to be taking effect tomorrow night, so we still have over 24 hours before that precipitation moves into the area. I'll have more on that in a few minutes, but right now we continue to see that those skies are starting to clear out across the area. After that cloud cover was pretty stubborn to break down today. Lake effect snows across Lake Michigan, but here we've stayed dry. Just a few flurries across the area earlier today, but all that activity has since cleared out and skies will continue to clear out for us through the evening hours. It has been a cold one out there today. Temperatures remain in the 20s across the area. 24 in Charleston, Paris, and in Decatur. 24 as well in Robinson. Decatur is at, or Decatur is at 24 as well. And as we look at our wind chills, they are down into the teens in most locations. 17 degrees in Paris, feeling like 13 up in Champaign, feeling like 16 down in Effingham. And that is thanks to these brisk northwest winds which continue across the area at 10 miles an hour here in Charleston, 7 in Champaign, 9 in Decatur. Those thankfully will be calming down as we get into the overnight hours, but it is still going to be cold thanks to those clear skies. So overnight lows falling down into the upper teens with those calmer winds, so only at 3 to 5 miles an hour. But even that, that will allow wind chills to fall down towards 10 degrees as we wake up for your day on Wednesday. We will have sunshine in place for Wednesday, though. That is until the afternoon hours when we'll start to notice an increase in cloud cover from the southwest, from the southeast, I should say, and that will be ahead of our next system, which looks to bring us some precipitation Wednesday night. But the day on Wednesday is going to be dry and sunny, 26 at 9 a.m. up to the freezing mark by noon. We top out at our daytime high of 37, so warmer than today, but still well below our average of 53 degrees. And as we get into Thursday night, that's when we'll start to see, or excuse me, Wednesday night, overnight, that's when we'll start to see that precipitation push into the area, starting to arrive as we get into your morning commute on Thursday. Starting out as snow across much of the area, we may have a little bit of a mix or some freezing rain across our far eastern areas Thursday morning, but that will be changing over to snow as we get into the afternoon hours. That's when we continue across much of the area. Still have the chance of some freezing rain or sleet across parts of the area, but we're expecting most of this precipitation to remain as snow, and that lingers with us into the evening hours as well, looking at 6 p.m., starting to push east of the I-57 quarter, and that'll start to clear out for us as we get into the overnight hours on Thursday. So right now, our numbers that we have in, the highest accumulations expected along and south of Interstate 70, where four to six inches will be possible, much of the viewing area expecting about one to three inches, including places like Shelbyville, Charleston, up to Tuscola. And there will be a sharp cutoff in that precipitation further to the north. So places like Warrensburg up into Monticello, Rantoul and Hoopston, they may see an inch or less. And of course, these numbers are preliminary. We're still over 24 hours away, so be sure to tune in tomorrow to see the latest numbers as this system could still move. And those higher totals to the south are why that winter storm watch is in effect for our southern tier of counties. Again, Crawford, Effingham, and Jasper counties. It's going to take effect tomorrow night and continue into Thursday evening. And this system is moving in just in time for winter weather preparedness week. So tonight we're looking at the different types of winter weather alerts. The first one, which is in effect now, a winter storm watch, which means you should be prepared because a winter event is possible in the next 48 hours. If an advisory is issued, you should use caution as snow, freezing rain, sleet, or blowing snow may impact the area but it's not expected to have any major implications. And a warning is issued when heavy rain, snow, or ice, or blizzard conditions are expected. And these are the common warning types we see across the area. Blizzard warnings are not based on accumulation, but rather winds and the visibility for three hours. And then ice storm warnings, a quarter inch or greater of ice accumulation. But again, no warnings in effect for the viewing area at this point, and as we look at the next seven days, once that system moves out on Thursday, we do see more sunshine for Friday. Temperatures climbing up into the 40s, but still well below average. Well, it looks like Everett for that Thursday snow. The kids maybe it'll make some snow angels. That's right, as we get into the area, and those snow totals could increase, so be sure to tune in for the latest. Thanks, Everett.